bring the public hearing to order Tuesday, January 6, 2015, 9.30 a.m. Could I get a roll call, please? Commissioner Tedesco? Here. Commissioner Henry? Here. Commissioner Hansen? Could everyone please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Thank you very much. Can I get a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Thank you. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? <laughs> Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. All right. So today we have awards and presentations. And the awards we have today are for the Fall Employee of the Season and Budget Awards. So we begin today's public hearing with several award presentations. We start with two very prestigious awards recently received by our finance department, both issued by the Government Finance Officers Association of the United States and Canada. The first award is the Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting, which was presented to Adams County Finance Department in recognition of its comprehensive annual financial report, also known as the CAFR. The certificate, this certificate is the highest form of recognition a government can receive in the area of accounting and financial reporting. Here to accept the award is Ben Dahlman, Acting Financing Finance Director. Welcome, Ben. Thank you, commissioners. Thank you, everyone. I'd like to invite a, a, a group of people up here to help accept this award, if that's all right with you, commissioners. Um, Mary Ha, would you uh, please join me up here with uh, the other staff that has helped prepare this document for Adams County, its citizens, and for uh, you as commissioner. So um, please come up. When you, when you bring up your staff, can you Give their names and Can I do that? introduce them. Mary, Mary <laughs> yes. just indicated that she would love to do that. I would love to do that. <laughs> so at this time, I would like to call the uh, to invite the accounting staff um, of finance department who have worked so long for long hours and stressful schedules for at least between five and six months. Uh, the, the audit last year was very challenging because um, audit is, uh, by nature, is, is uh, testy and, uh, and challenging to begin with anyway, but that's, that's our life. Um, we do that every year. But last year, we had uh, senior people who for, um, were uh, retired and also left due to maternity. And uh, so we had new people, and, um, and everything was new. So, but however, we, we had dedicated, smart, uh, driven, and um, passionate accountants <laughs> Uh, who made all this happen. So I'd like at this time to, to ask them to come up here and receive the award uh, with the finance department. So Laura Garcia, Kevin Campbell, Lori Arellano, Mike, Michaelina Hanselman, Bob Duran, Deb Markley, Kerry Johnson, Becky Hurt, John Reed, Ozzy McCollum, who has since retired, uh, Gabriel Zobel, Nick Bastin, Ben Dahlman, and of course many other um, staff from social services. Uh, like I said, we have worked very long hours and, and stressful schedules. So I would like to thank, the, uh, thank them personally for their dedication and for, them, for their support and, um, and really um, 
worked hard with, with, with all of us in finance department to make this happen for the county. So thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Well, I will say thank you also on behalf of not only the rest of the staff and, and employees of Adams County, but the constituents of Adams County for watching the money and giving a, such a thorough report. And the prestige of winning such an award proves that your diligence was well-founded. So I appreciate everything also. And on behalf of the board, we thank you very much. Um, let's see, do we want to come down for a photo or you have a comment? Just have a real short comment. You all make us look good, so thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, so I guess we'll come down for a photo. That's what my uh, instructions say. So if we could line <laughs> up right here. Okay, the second award earned by our finance department is the coveted Distinguished Budget Presentation Award. This prestigious award is only presented to governments whose budget document satisfies nationally recognized guidelines. Remarkably, Adams County has received this coveted award for 25 consecutive years. We'd like to recognize our outstanding budget team on this impressive achievement. Please stand as I read your name. Brad Boswell, Nancy Duncan, Pernell Olson, and Teresa Wilson. Congratulations and a job well done. And you know, I'm reading this script because I didn't have time to read it before I came in this morning. But I will tell you that I have had the privilege of sitting down with many of you and being instructed as to how your job is done and I do not envy you one bit and to do this for 25 consecutive years is absolutely an amazing achievement and I do appreciate everything that you do and as Eva said I'm pretty sure she'll say it again you make us look good so we really appreciate that thank you very much Would any of you like to come down and make a statement? Absolutely. Good morning, Bradley Boswell, budget manager. Um, I think a special remark is in order today, given the backdrop of the challenges that we faced this year with our budget. Um, on June 2nd, I was diagnosed with stage four throat cancer. Uh, I was thrust out of the office after a couple surgeries and treatment. Um, we also had some, some staff turnover, uh, one staff member going to work for the city of Boulder, another going to the private sector, another becoming a stay-at-home wife. And so we had a unique amount of turnover, and then my being out was a highly unique situation with a huge responsibility hanging in the void. And if I could, could I ask Ben Dahlman to come forward, please? 
I just wanted to thank Ben publicly in front of this body and this board and shake his hand for coming to my aid, both personally and professionally, as a good friend and as a fine uh, leader in this organization, I'm deeply grateful for Ben stepping forward and taking leadership of that process under Todd's ultimate leadership. Um, no one is more grateful in this room than I am. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Well, could I have this group step forward and we'll take another photograph for this award? Okay, moving on today is also the day the board is honored to announce the fall winners of the county's employee recognition program, known as the Employee of the Season program. The employees honored here today have demonstrated exceptional service to the county and its residents, and it is our pleasure to recognize them for their exemplary efforts. We will first announce the eight category winners before introducing the overall Employee of the Season. We would like each winner to come to the podium when we announce your name. We will also invite your department director or supervisor to join you at the podium. And both of you will have the opportunity to make brief remarks if you choose. After we have read the award bio, after all remarks have been made, please take a seat here in the front. In the interest of time, we will present checks and certificates at the end of the ceremony, followed by a group photo. First award. These are the category award winners, and the first one, uh, each one of those people will receive a certificate and $50. And our first winner, uh, winner uh, is for the category of making it happen. Um, Brett Schrager, please come to the podium, along with Chris Klein. This uh, particular category honors employees who are able to achieve a desired outcome despite facing some kind of diversity, or excuse me, adversity, not diversity. <laughs> That's, those are very different things, just so you know. Um, our Making It Happen uh, award winner, uh, Brett Traeger, um, Shager, excuse me, was nominated by teammate Carol um, Aquani. I can't go. Yeah, sorry, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> just helping me out there. Appreciate sure. that. Um, Carol writes that, the youth, uh, writes that the Youth Succeed team has recently gone through many changes from retirements and promotions to the hiring of new staff. When Brett joined the program as a youth enrollment specialist, he brought about a renewed spirit which has increased the team dynamics. Uh, this millennial bonded with us. Wow, they already branded you. They did. <laughs> um, bonded with and re-energized each team member. Um, Brett has developed and implemented better resources and marketing materials that are youth focused and is currently working on enhancing the program's internship and work experience opportunities. Uh, Brett's exceptional knowledge of technology will benefit our program as we move forward enhancing communication with our youth participants. There is no stopping Brett or his or this energized team which is making it happen. So congratulations Brett. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Chris Klein, Human Services. Good morning, Commissioners. It was just a few weeks ago, Brett and I had a very spirited conversation over technology in our youth program, and I can certainly attest to his energy and uh, his willingness to serve the youth of our community, and I can tell you that as a result of that energy and his willingness to contribute to his team that our youth program will be better for it. So, Brett, congratulations and well done.
Well, I'm sort of gifted and cursed with being both a very young person and a very new person at Adams County. So I'm really excited uh, moving forward, teaching people how to use computers and going to Governor Summer job hunt meetings and talking about how Snapchat works. So um, it's been a great uh, time so far. And I'd like to thank my team for being very supportive um, and teaching me new things um, and helping me keep the energy up on our team. Thanks. All right, well, I guess I have a new source for when I have uh, problems with the social media that I, <laughs> that I tend to go. All right, our next award is for collaborating, helping, and mentoring. Would Elisa, is it Obando, please come forward? <laughs> and Chris Klein, Director of Human Services, please come to the podium. This award honors individuals who play an important role by positively influencing others by working towards strategic plan goals, participating in change initiatives, and investing time in coaching, mentoring, and being a role model for others. Elise, Elisa has been working for the Adams Works for almost two years. She was nominated by her supervisor, Morella Michael, who writes, Elisa has experienced hardship in her life and has been able to pull through. This has enhanced her empathy skills, helping her, her become one of the best caseworkers in Adams County. Elisa takes the time to develop a relationship with her participants and encourages them on their way to self-sufficiency. Recently, one of her clients wrote, you have changed me in so many ways. I'm so thankful I found a caseworker who is as caring as you are. It means a lot to me that you are proud of me because it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be where I am. Elisa puts the awesome in the team, awesome. And I wanna add something, you know, I, I come, come also from the same background, probably very similar to what you had. And I always tape, tell people it always takes one to know one, and the best advocates are the ones that have been there and done that. So thank you so much for the work that you've done. And Chris, do you wanna speak? Yeah, it's, uh, it's easy to see how passionate Elisa is about the work that she does, and maybe even more importantly, how much she cares about those that she serves. And based on what we heard today, I can tell you that the clients that Elisa works with are certainly better for it. So, Elisa, thank you, congratulations, and well done. Thank you. Good morning, commissioners, and everybody sitting here today. I would just like to say I'm very honored to receive this award, and. Um, I'm very proud to be part of the awesomest team in this county and to also be a part of um, Adams County government. Thank you so much for this award and uh, thank you. Thank you. Elisa, 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 could we have you sit up front? <laughs> okay, next we present the award for extra effort category. Would Christopher Park and Ray Gonzalez, Deputy County Manager, External Services Office, please come forward. And can we get a longer title for you? <laughs> the Extra Effort Award celebrates the employee whose unique level of service fosters good business and relationships and enhances the county's positive reputation. Christopher Parks was nominated by coworker Mary Willis who explained that while pondering exhibit locations for the annual Adams County Fair, the staff thought it would be great to have a map for each section of the fair. Staff dreams came true thanks to Chris and his unbelievable GIS skills. Chris produced several maps that included a multi-layered map of the fairgrounds showing services offered, a parking lot map showing parking areas and emergency exit routes, and a food vendor map showing where each food vendor was located. The maps were also included on the fair website so people could plan their shopping and meals while attending the county fair. The map project was a large undertaking and no matter how many times fair staff wanted changes, Chris always did it with a smile. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chris. So would you like to say a few words? Sure, thanks. Um, Brandy Rank, GS Supervisor. Um, Chris started with the county about a year ago, a little over a year, and um, to say that 
he would win this extra effort is not surprising. Um, Chris is the kind of person who attends public hearings, even though he really doesn't need to, goes to board meetings, and he's just um, hungry to learn as much as he can, and he always puts forth that extra effort. So um, I just did want to thank Mary, and I know Melanie, for uh, thinking of Chris on this nomination. Uh, it's important to, to say that, you know, the amount of work that he did was pretty phenomenal. Um, the amount of data that was created and maps that were created with the accuracy that Chris has in the short amount of time is, um, well, the kind of product Chris always delivers. So thank you, Chris. Good morning, commissioners. I just want to say it wasn't really hard to give this much effort. I got a chance to work with some really great people. Mary, Melanie and Mary are amazing people, so much fun to work with, so I had a great time working with them. And I really want to thank my team with Brandy Rank, my supervisor, Charles Osterman, and Claire Brewer, who are all great people and assets for me to go to to help me really make my work worthwhile. So thank you. Thank you, Chris. So I'd just like to say a, a, a couple words on that, and I'll tell you this, that, that Chris, the uh, fair set records last year, and I'm sure that it will set records again this year, and we're going to need that expertise, and we have many new events, especially the Funnel Cake 5K and others, and so you're going to be uh, worth your weight in gold in these mapping industry, okay? So thank you very much. Thank you. is uh, Good Citizenship. Uh, Claire Wilbanks and Ben Nolan, please come forward. I thought it is. I'm just not close enough to it. Um, if you didn't hear me, it's the Good Citizenship Award. Uh, Claire Wilbanks and Ben Nolan, please come forward. Um, or Ed Finger, that works too. How are you? Um, <laughs> this award honors an individual who fosters a spirit of community by building bridges among people who come together for social, business, or intellectual processes. This category celebrates the human, humanitarian philosophy of doing the right thing for another person or group, thereby serving as a model citizen to both the community and the county. Nominated by Shirley Lubick of the HR Department, Shelley writes, quote, Clara demonstrates all the norms of this category. This employee is the first person you see when arriving at the central entrance to the government center. This is true. Um, from the minute the lobby door opens, Clara helps countless customers by answering a myriad of telephone calls, greeting visitors, and directing customers to the appropriate location to receive services. This happens continuously throughout the day, and Clara does it all with a smile. When our department asks Clara to help out, she never complains and is willing to help. It is very reassuring to know that we can count on her when needed. This employee's pleasant demeanor and friendly greetings each day help make Adams County an enjoyable place to work and a pleasant place for customers to conduct their business. Congratulations, I'll say, I'll say something first and then you. <laughs> so a few words in. Ed Finger, Deputy County Manager, would probably do better with Ben here, but I've uh, recently had the privilege to take over the supervision of the, the Finance Business Services Group, uh, an honor to do so. And I started in this county one year ago today, and uh, I remember those multiple interviews I went through to get here, um, that first day of work, and, and experiencing what you just said, the front door to this organization. I, I, I love this day every quarter. It, it takes some time, obviously, in the public hearing, but I love the theme in, in these presentations, the reminder that we're everybody behind me, or almost everybody behind me, there's a couple of vendors in the room, um, that we're paid by the citizens of Adams County, that we serve the citizens of Adams County, and we take great pleasure in improving the lives of the citizens of Adams County. And Clara and her team, um, another word that's thematic today is, is team, are great great representations of who we are to the people that walk through this door in our main building each and every day. I've experienced that as a customer. I've recently had the, the pleasure of experiencing that as, as Clara and I have got to know each other a little bit in, in our new working relationship, and I certainly am glad to see that she's receiving this award. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for this uh, award. I appreciate it. Um, Shelley isn't here, I don't think, but I thank her for uh, nominating me for the award. Thank you very much. Clara, 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 Clara. 
You weren't supposed to go anywhere, Clara. I wasn't done with you. <laughs> I just want to thank you. Um, my very, very first day, and I know I'm an elected official and I come on board a whole lot different than the employees do, but you still walk into the doors with the same insecurities as you do when you're actually employed um, on your first day. And your, your greeting and your friendship meant so much to me those first few months, um, which were very tough for me, to know that when I walked into that door that you were there with your smile and you were willing to hear whatever I wanted to tell you. So <laughs> thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. I would echo those words. You are very much the, the smiling face that greets everybody every day, and it's a pleasure seeing you every morning. Thank you for what you do. I always have high verbal needs, so. Our next category is for unsung hero. Would Celia Ornelas, Ornelas? Okay, thank you. <laughs> and Dave Young, is Dave here? And they are your supervisor. Do you have a supervisor? Are you supervised? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> Please come forward. Okay, the unsung hero category honors individuals for performing high quality, reliable, and critical work that if not completed would com compromise operations. This person's functions behind the scenes is willing to improve work situations and does so without fanfare or being prompt. Sally, as many people call her, was nominated by coworker Lisa Mitten, who writes, Sally always has a smile on her face and a positive attitude, even on the gloomiest of days. When new investigators start in her unit, she is the first to show them the ropes. When it comes to completing her paperwork, she's on top of it. Sally puts details in her reports and doesn't take shortcuts, yet makes sure her work is completed before the deadline. She goes the extra mile to search out victims and witnesses to get them served. When others are in desperate need of someone to help with a rush, a subpoena, Sally always volunteers. Coworkers have confidence that Sally will do everything in her power to get the job done. Being bilingual, Sally receives all the subpoenas and interviews for Spanish-speaking victims and witnesses. She is a true asset to this investigation unit and to everyone in this office. Congratulations, Sally. And would, would you like? What's your name? <laughs> Mark Swisher. I'm the uh, chief investigator for the Adams County DA's office. Thank you, Mark, for coming. Please, if you have something to say. Without a doubt, I've been in law enforcement for 30 years. Uh, you cherish people that you can call a true partner. Even though I kind of direct the unit, uh, I've only been here for a short amount of time, about nine months now. Uh, Sally is, her hunger to do the job is second to none. Uh, she has a true desire to learn more, uh, to do more. Uh, I depend on her, her smile. We banter back and forth. It, it's one thing I look forward to when I come into work. Uh, she was one of those people that she doesn't have the word can't in her vocabulary. It's what can we do and how can we get it done? Uh, for that, uh, my thanks goes out to her tremendously. Great job. Good morning, Commissioners. I would like to thank Lisa for that an amazing, um, I'm so touched right now, I'm so proud and honored. Um, and I would like to thank my unit. They are amazing. I work with such great people in, in the investigation unit and I just love what I do and I'm so happy to receive this award. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sally. You're greatly appreciated also, and I hope you understand that with the kind words that were said to you about you today. So thank you. Our next award is for the category of sustainability star. Would Rebecca uh, K. So Zamora. Zamora <laughs> I apologize. It's okay. <laughs> Please join us at the podium along with Jeff Maxwell, Director of Transportation. The Sustainability Star Award recognizes employees who demonstrate innovative and impactful acts of environmental stewardship that help save the county money and or positively impact the health and safety of county employees or citizens. When Lynn Countermash and Finance was asked to be part of, 
Last year's supply grab event, Becky was the first person she thought to recruit. In her nomination, Lynn writes, Becky is a hardworking employee who has excellent organizational skills and attention to detail. She was able to get the word out about supply grab items that she knew staff needed, thereby increasing the success of the event. She worked very hard both days assisting, assisting without hesitation. She even committed to being part of the event again in 2015. This is an employee who put all her all into making an event a success. There is no doubt she will continue to support this beneficial sustainability event. Rebecca and Jeff, would you like to say a few words? Sure. Good morning, commissioners. Thank you very much. Jeff Maxwell, Transportation Department. Um, when it comes to sustainability, uh, Becky is a real role model for the fleet department. She actually started our recycling program over five years ago, took that initiative on her own. Um, she continues to make sure it's uh, working well to this day. She gets everybody in line and makes sure that they participate, which is not an easy thing to do. Um, and we're very thankful that she does that. She jumped right into the supply grab program and I think was a big part of the success of that program and as you said, committed to doing it again next year. So she's a real inspiration to the department and we're very, very proud of her. Good morning. I just wanna thank Lynn for nominating me and I really am looking forward to helping up with the next supply gram because we save departments tons of money and it's something that we need to keep continuing in the county. Thank you. Well, I will say attending the supply grab last year and seeing the amount of work that went into all the supplies that came in to the both of you, thank you. Okay, Eric. The next uh, winner is uh, in our success in practice category. Um, Chris Ewing and Nathan Mosley, Director of Parks and Open Space, please come forward. This uh, award honors individuals who play an important role in successful interventions, problem resolutions, or customer improvements. Uh, Chris was nominated by coworker, coworker Melanie Snodel, who, uh, who writes, Chris made significant improvements to the methods of entering and tracking 4-H data. With the more than 800 kids and their families, the 4-H program requires logging a great deal of information for the 3,000 plus projects submitted in any given year. And all these projects have to be analyzed and <coughs> tracked to make sure that they meet all the requirements to be judged. In the past, this would take several weeks or months because most of the work was done by hand. Over the last several years, Chris has worked extremely hard to bring these processes online which has greatly reduced the time required as well as the number of errors encountered. Chris has given us the ability to serve more families and kids more quickly. He doesn't stop there though. Each year he works hard to make sure that we're doing the best we can and are as accurate as possible with 4-H. Congratulations and would you like to say a few words? I would. Good morning, commissioners. My name is Nathan Mosley. I'm the new Parks and Open Space Director. Uh, today is my second day, so I don't want to steal anybody's thunder <laughs> this morning because I can't really take any credit for what Chris has done at this point, but I just want to say that I'm really proud to be a part of the Adams County family and really excited to have two employees being recognized today in my department. So I'm really excited to be working with all of them and leading this team moving forward. So I'll turn it over to Thad. My name is Thaddeus Gordon. I'm the director of extension for Adams County. And Chris has been with the extension department for since 2002. And I got to say that he is the code master. He can look at databases and fix problems. He's a troubleshooter. I'd almost say he's the MacGyver <laughs> of our office. It doesn't matter what problem there is he can solve it. And that includes everything from catching urine from animals <laughs> for <laughs> drug testing to um, onion databases that are over 30 years old and fixing them. And I'm, I just can't say enough about the guy other than MacGyver, do you have a few words? <laughs> Well, I'd like to thank my Adams County Extension team. They definitely keep things lively at all times, and I never know what I'm going to get from one day to the next, so it's always a challenge and it's always a lot of fun. Um, as far as 4-H um, and the fair and that sort of thing, um, I also want to 
recognize the parks department. Um, everyone from the fair managers uh, down to the guys that are helping us set up um, the pens and all that sort of thing so that we can have those fun jobs that <laughs> Thad mentioned. So uh, I just appreciate being uh, recognized for all that. Thank you. All right. Now we celebrate our final category winner in the Bright Idea Creativity category with James Herman and whoever from, from Parks and Rec. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The winner of this category develops innovative solutions to business challenges, breaks down boundaries, creates new relationships to improve how work gets done, and approaches problems as an opportunity for growth. James has been a, has been a parks mechanic for more than 15 years. Nominated by co-worker Mary Willis, we learned that James has been a key player in most creative projects for Adams County Fair. James implemented two ideas in 2014, including building two recycling centers, thank you, and a large portable showcase with more than 850 water bottles as part of the recycling campaign. In addition, a new Agriland feature at the fair was created to educate young fair go goers. The exhibits incorporated computer ta tablets with innovative agricultural games for children between the ages of four through eight. Fair staff purchased small tables, but were unable to leave the, ta the tablets out due to safety and sec security concerns. James took the ta tables to his shop and designed and built custom inserts so the tablets were safely and securely mounted inside each table. All of this was accomplished while he kept up with his normal mechanic duties. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you want to say a few words? So Shannon McDowell, Parks and Open Space. Um, since Nathan is so new, I'm gonna take this one. Uh, so Thad stole a bit of our thunder. We do call James MacGyver. So if Chris is the MacGyver, he would be the MacGyver of everything technologically in involved. And uh, James would be the MacGyver of everything mechanical. Uh, he, he is simply amazing. Probably the most creative person in our department and uh, can even manufacture his own parts when we don't have them. So uh, I think he's the go-to person when we ever have a problem. Um, he can be seen doing any number of things, not just fixing our machines. So um, very, very valuable person for us. James. Yeah. Well, good morning. Uh, thank you. Uh, it was. Uh, I, I first want to thank uh, Mary Willis for nom nominating me. It was. It's great. Uh, and actually, the Parks Department, all the employees. I mean, they're all great. It's a great bunch of people to be around. Uh, I've enjoyed my job. It's been, like I said, 15. Actually, it's been about 20 years, but it's. I've been, enjoyed the job a lot. It's a, a great job. Um, I'd like to thank the Employee of the Season Committee for choosing me. My gosh, it's. I was on the committee uh, a couple years ago and. I realize the hard decisions they're tasked with. The county has a lot of great employees, and it's, it's amazing. But um, as for me, I, I guess my dad always used to say, you know, with a little common sense and some imagination, you, you should be able to accomplish about anything. So I, st I still hope I think I'm making him proud with everything I do. But uh, yeah, I thank you. Uh, I really appreciate the recognition. Thank and, you. And James, we also. Not, not only are you the winner of the category, you're also a winner of, as the overall fall employee of the season. So congratulations as such. You will receive a check for $350 and a trophy in addition to the certificate of recognition. So thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. I will say this, that, that any time I see a, a mechanic, because, you know, it comes from my background, when not only an award like you won, but win the overall award, I am extremely ecstatic because we are the unknown, always in the background, underneath, in the dirt, in the cold. And I got to tell you that, you know, as much as I appreciate everybody's effort and their contribution to the county, because it is such a close relation to what I do, <laughs> I'm very happy to see you win this award, and I appreciate everything that you do. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Okay, so now we're going to take a moment and personally present each winner with a check and certificate 
as well as take a group photo of all the winners. But before we do that, we wish to thank all of our employees joining us today for supporting their peers. We also want to remind everyone that nominations are currently being accepted for the winter awards. So please visit My Adams for more information on how you can nominate deserving coworkers in your department and office. And I will say this, that we have every single employee in Adams County, I don't care what department under what office that you work, we have amazing, amazing, amazing workers. And the constituents of our county need to realize that and showcasing those types of workers here is an absolute pleasure. So please go out and nominate your, your workers and your department and your um, friends and whoever you think is deserving and, and let's get them recognized for what they do. Now let's pre present the awards to take a group photo. We would also like to take individual photos afterwards, so please just remember after you're done in here, I think the photographer is going to be out in the uh, room right outside and we'll be taking individual photos also. So if we will, are we gonna do them one at a time? Okay, then we'll come down. Okay, continuing on, public comment. Do we have anyone signed up for public comment? No, we do not. Is there anyone in the audience at this time that would like to make public comment that did not sign up for public comment? Seeing none, elected officials. One short, welcome to 2015. It's going to be an interesting year. Consent calendar. Do I have a motion for the consent calendar? 
Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Commissioner Stesco? Yes. New business, county manager. Good morning. We have uh, six items this morning for your consideration. Uh, the first one is a resolution approving our internal audit charter for Adams County. Uh, Ed Finger, our deputy county manager, is going to talk briefly through that. Good morning, commissioners. And again, for the record, Ed Finger, deputy county manager. And now I have a microphone on, I believe. Uh, a little bit more than three years ago, the Adams County Board of Commissioners established an internal audit function. And in that same time frame, they approved the first internal audit contract, which is the next agenda item on the, on the agenda. And they also approved an internal audit charter. Um, staff, specifically county manager's office staff, county attorney's office staff, and the recommended vendor, um, the subject of the next item, reviewed the audit charter. And we make, we've made recommendations for change to the board. Uh, those primarily reflect um, a better delineation of the fact that we've, we've made a organizational decision to use an external entity for the internal audit function and things like titles of internal audit director and, and other scopes of the job need a little bit better clarification in staff's opinion. Um, we believe that the audit charter still remains materially um, and substantially similar to the model art, audit charter recommended by the Institute of Internal Auditors, and uh, we recommend approval. Thank you very much. Commissioners, do you have any questions? No questions. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a comment at this time? Seeing none, do I have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to uh, approve the Internal Audit Charter for Adams County. Second. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Uh, our next item is uh, consistent with the previous one, a resolution accepting a proposal and a warning and agreement to I. Bailey LLP for internal audit services uh, for 2015. Ed? Good morning, Commissioners. Again, for the record, Ed Finger, Deputy County Manager. Uh, the next item is a uh, purchasing item, and we're recommending and requesting approval of an RFP award to I. Bailey LLP. Um, County managers, staff, county attorney staff, and finance staff comprised an RFP review team. We received a number of bids, including the incumbent company. We scored those bids and moved two forward to finalist oral presentations. They were both two firms with significant Colorado presence and firms that had, we thought, the right size and scope and depth of staff that would meet uh, this large entity's needs. Having moved through the three years of the previous contract and, and the two related awards that governed both internal, the annual internal audit program as well as specific purchasing functionality, we believed we achieved a lot of sort of first things get us over the hurdle type audits and, and now we're in a place where at a lower dollar annual amount we can maintain a reasonable audit program. And in conjunction with this previously approved internal audit charter, uh, this internal auditor would report administratively to the board, not to the board, I apologize, but to the county manager and then to the board of county commissioners on all items that were audited. Uh, staff recommends based on the evaluation of that RFP review team that I told you about earlier, the award to I. Bailey LLP. Commissioners, do we have any questions? No questions. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a comment at this time? Seeing none, do we have a motion? I move for an approval of the resolution accepting a proposal and awarding an agreement to I. Bailey LLP for internal auditor, auditor services. Thank you. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Thank Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Um, item number three is uh, a resolution award a request for proposal to, Sh to Sheba Business Solutions for our managed print services for Adams County. Ben D. Romanis uh, with our purchasing departments here to talk through that. Good morning. Currently, multifunctional devices that perform copying, printing, scanning, and faxing are installed throughout the county with some offices and departments under contract with a variety of suppliers. In 2014, the county became interested in moving in the direction of a single contractor for the lease of multifunctional printing devices and sought to implement a comprehensive consolidated print management plan in order to standardize equipment, reduce costs, and create efficiencies across the entire county. A formal request for proposal was posted on the Rocky Mountain e-purchasing system cons to consider proposals for managed copier and printer services. Proposal responses were opened on October 16, 2014. Twelve firms submitted a response. 
Proposals were reviewed by a committee consisting of members from multiple county departments and evaluated on the following criteria. Recommended project solution, experience and qualifications, project costs, and added or value added features. Based on thorough review, the evaluation committee recommends a contract for managed copier and printed service be awarded to Toshiba Business Solutions for the following reasons. Toshiba's six-step uh, six project solution, implemented sustainability programs and environmental initiatives, communication plan, project costs, and equipment pricing. With its current contractors, Adams County spends an estimated $405,000 annually on copying and printing using multifunctional devices. Although exact costs can't be determined until a full print analysis has been completed, the county will see significant annual savings, annual savings in choosing Toshiba Business Solutions. Upon award, Toshiba Business Solutions will perform an extensive countywide print study analysis to devise this plan and provide recommendations to consolidate and reduce the number of local desktop printers in the county's fleet with the intention of moving as much print volume as possible to either new or existing multifunctional devices. The desired plan will incorporate, but not be limited to, multifunctional devices, laser printers, inkjet printers, or any applicable devices. Thank you very much. Commissioners, do we have any questions? No questions, do you? No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was <laughs> trying to get us through this. So uh, let's see, do, is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a comment at this time? Seeing none, do I have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I would, uh, Mr. Chairman, I would move to uh, award a contract to, to Sheba Business Solutions for the uh, printing, well, for printing, print solutions, I guess. <laughs> Second. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Um, item number four uh, this morning is a resolution approving a second amendum, addendum to a contract between Adams County and CND Security Services for because security services are various uh, Adams County facilities. Jen Tierney with Purchasing here to talk through that. Good morning. Um, Adams County currently uses a firm for security services using both, utilizing both armed and unarmed guards at various Adams County f facilities. Adams County accepted proposals in 2013 for security services, and this service was awarded to CND Security Service. To, the original agreement allows for two one-year renewals. The renewal for 2015 is the second of the two renewals. CND Security Service has requested a 2% increase for 2015, bringing the rates to the following amounts. Unarmed services, $14.78 an hour, Armed services, $15.47 an hour, and supervisory services at $16.50 an hour. In addition to renewing the agreement, the district attorney has budgeted to add an armed guard at the front desk area from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. The Sheriff's Office, Human Services, and Regional Park are satisfied with the service CND security is providing and recommends the renewal of the contract. The total approximate combined yearly expenditure for security services is $511,000. The recommendation is that the Board of County Commissioners approve the renewal of an, of an agreement to CND security services for 2015. Thank you very much. Commissioners, do we have any questions? No questions. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a statement at this time? None. Do we have a motion? I'd like to move for the approval of a resolution approving a second addendum to a contract between Adams County and CND Security Services for security services at various Adams County facilities. Second. Commissioner Henry? Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Commissioner Hansen? Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Thank you. Item number five uh, is a resolution to accept a bid from ECI site construction for the construction of the South Platte River Trail. And Jen is here again to talk through that. Uh, Adams County, in conjunction with the Urban Drainage and Flood Control District, is construction, constructing almost two miles of the South Platte River Trail, including two pedestrian bridges from approximately 108th Avenue to 120th Avenue at the, Adco Regi at the Adams County Regional Park. This project will essentially complete the South Platte River Trail within unincorporated Adams County. The uh, Urban Flood Control District is contributing $200,000 $200, in funds to this project. A formal bid was posted and emailed to contractors on the Urban 
drainage and flood controls districts category one approved contractors lists. Bids were open on December 11th, 2014. Two sur firms submitted bids, ECI Construction Management in the amount of $1,537,557.05, and Aranjo Civil, Civil Constructors in the amount of $1,837,605. After review of the bids, ECI, construct, ECI Site Construction Management was deemed to be the most responsive and responsible bidder. The recommendation is to award the bid to ECI Site Construction Management in the amount of $1,537,557.05. Any questions? Thank you very much. Commissioners, do we have any questions? No. No questions. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a statement at this time? Seeing none, do I have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to accept a bid from ECI Construction, Site Construction, for the construction of the South Platte River Trail. Second. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Um, our final item, uh, item number six, is a resolution approving addendum two with the Normandy Group for the Federal Lobbying Services. Heidi Ellis uh, is here with purchasing to talk through that. Good morning. Mm -hmm. The county currently requires the services of a federal lobbyist to assist with the legislative issues that impact Adams County. The Normandy Group has been providing federal lobbying services to Adams County during the last year. Purchasing Division received a request from the county manager's um, office to renew the agreement with the Normandy Group to provide federal lobbying services. The Board of County Commissioners approved um, the above agreement and the extension at various public hearing um, meetings as listed. And de on December 11, 2013, they approved the agreement and addendum one was approved on June 10, 2014. The Normandy group provided a memo of their, to, a memo to summarize the accomplishments for 2014 and they proposed a work plan for 2015 that's attached to your agenda. The Board of County Commissioners and the County Manager staff are satisfied with the firm's services and would like to exercise option year one of the agreement for the services described. Services will run from January 6, 2015 through January 5th of 2016. Purchasing and the County Manager staff reviewed the firm's option year fees and it was determined that their fees are considered fair and reasonable for the scope of services. Purchasing is in the agreement with the renewal recommendation to the Normandy Group in the amount not to exceed $90,000. The recommendation is that the Board of County Commissioners approve the renewal of an agreement with the Normandy Group. Thank you very much. Commissioners, do we have any questions? No questions. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a statement at this time? Seeing none, do we have a motion? I'd like to move for the approval of an addendum two with the Normandy Group for Federal Lobbying Services. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, County Attorney. Good morning, Commissioners. Um, the County Attorney is asking that you go into executive session on two separate items today, as time allows. Um, one is an executive session pursuant to Colorado Revised Statute 246402. 4F, for the purpose of discussing personnel matters for the annual review of the county attorney and the county manager. So moved. Second. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. And the second executive session is an executive session pursuant to Colorado Revised Statute 246402-4B, for the purpose, I'm sorry, B and E, for the purpose of receiving legal advice and negotiation strategy regarding development at DIA. Second. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. And no further business for the county attorney? No further business, thank you. Okay, we will take a five minute recess. Uh, we're a little behind schedule. We'll take a five minute recess to allow them to set up for land use hearings and we'll resume with land use.